Hello, everyone. Today we have a custom LEGO minifig review from the Minifig Co. All this stuff right here is from their Mad Dash event, which was on May 4th, which is also Star Wars Day. Uh, of course, what comes in all packaging is their business card. So it says, cheers, thanks for your order. Normal speed on the back. You can post any pictures to their social media. What also comes in the packaging is a nice sticker, the Minifig Co. right here. It's a pretty simple sticker. Sadly, they didn't give out any pins. At least I didn't get one. Um, and also, I didn't get any of the crazy, wacky minifigs, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. <clears throat> Starting with, of course, the brick badge, because if you order from an event and you don't get a brick badge for that event, did you really order from that event? So right here is their Mad Dash brick badge. It's on a uh, 1x8 brick. And you can see it says, the, uh, it says Mad Dash. It's got the minifig code and 2019 for the event. always good to have a brick badge. Uh, next is the minifig of course, or at least one of them I got. This one is Chronic. This one they sell normally so it's not one of their crazy minifigs but I wanted to get them anyways. Sadly they were out of the shady minifig but they do plan to restock in the summer they said. So for the minifig you're pretty standard um, packaging that they have. Again their normal spiel on the back. Open them right up. Again, this is called, he's called Chronic, and he's based off Dr. Dre. So if you get the shady minifig, that's Eminem, of course. So here he is. Again, he's bald, so you don't need any hair pieces. You can see his eyebrows. He's got a mustache going. Of course, this is when he was younger. Uh, he does come with a microphone because he is a rapper. I'm not a rapper. He is a rapper. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see he's got a long uh, yellow t-shirt on. It does say Mechathon across the front. It's got a logo with a torch on the front. Some wrinkles in his baggy shirt. Coming down to his waist and legs, you can see yellow on his waist. This is printed on a white uh, leg, so it is. it looks good. They did a good job matching the colors. And then his t-shirt does come down over his legs. Black legs for his pants. And then white tennis shoes. Coming to the side, this is printed on the arms for the shoulder, so uh, yellow t-shirts printed on, forearm skin shows on his hands. No printing on the side of the body, there is printing on the side of the waist and legs, so yellow t-shirt does come over. Again, black pants, and then he's got his white tennis shoes. Printing is the same as this side. And then no printing on the back of the torso, but the waist for the shirt does come down over. Again, black pants, they do print in the holes, and then his white tennis shoes. So again, I did miss out on getting Shady, which I did want, but I'll probably get him in the summer then. But we did get Chronic. Now, since, of course, the event was on May the 4th, or May 4th, I did get their Star Wars-themed uh, accessories, which was the Star Wars Tile Revenge of the Tile Pack. And this came with three um, minifigs that look like they're in the packaging. So they're on two by one smooth tiles. And they look like old style minifigures or um, action figures in packaging. So starting on the left is R2D2. And you can see he's right here in the packaging. It's so just how it would be. That would be the bubble right there. And then you got R2-D2 talking to C-3PO for his background. It says Revenge of the Tile on the top for all three of them. The one in the center is C-3PO. And for his background is uh, Chewbacca carrying C-3PO on his back when he's disassembled. And then on the far right is Luke in his X-Wing suit. And then for his background is like the guiding system for an X-Wing. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. So an awesome accessory pack. Hope they make more of these with different types of characters, of course. But that's the their Star Wars little theme that I got. Again, I wish they did more Star Wars theme for the event as well. I for sure would have tried to get some of those guys. But since they didn't, it's okay. Hopefully get in the future they do. Um, here's some other accessories I got. This one is a 2x2 two two smooth tile. It says, wanted. We want it. Give it to us or else. Wanted to get this, I thought it was funny and I like it a lot. I know they have some other ones exactly like these. Different text, of course, on them. But this is the We Want It and Give It To Us or Else tile. And a fun little tile it is. 
Next is some MREs. So those are meals ready to eat. I've got version 1 and 2. And these go good with any type of military minifigs, mocks, and pictures. So the one on the left is the version 1. One on the right is version 2. You can see the uh, styling is different. So this one just says meal. This one says MRE across with the black band, which looks like the ones nowadays. And a lot of other filler text, of course, and you can read them in a person rather than on camera. But they did a good job, and you can see where the uh, rippling would be for the tops and bottoms, where it's sealed. So some good military accessories. Put those right next to that. Uh, next are some cigarette packs. And these are based off like real life cigarettes, but I wanted to get these because they go well with uh, Vietnam and World War II era minifigs. Let's get them on the stand so you can see them a little better. So the one starting on the left is called, i got to look at the name because I know I will pronounce it wrong, um, Attica, or Attica, A-T-I-K-A-H, SIG tile. And these are on one stud smooth tiles. The one in the center is the uh, Eckenstein SIG tile. And the one on the far right is the Lucky Strike SIG tile. So again, these go good with military minifigs. You can see they got good quality. This one's got a lot going on with it. See, this one says Lucky Strike Cigarettes, Eckenstein. And then this one does say uh, the name of it going across. Again, clearer in person than it is on camera, or at least with this camera. But some good packs to have, or accessories to have. And the last accessories I got were their Brick-A-Cola caps. One is their modern one, and one is their World War II era one. And these are on smooth studs, white smooth studs. Starting with the left one, which is the World War II era. And the one on the right is the modern era. See, they say brick of coal on the top. This one says it across. This one has the logo in the center. And then the lines going around it. This one has the lines going around it, but no logo. And there's some also other writing on this one. And this one has it all the way around. So some cool accessories that I wanted to get as well. So no more accessories, but now I do have two more minifigs. The first one is their, um, he's on the tricolor body helmet uh, camo. So I'm going to take off his tactical vest and his helmet for the time being. And then this head is their alarmed head, light flesh. So you can see he's kind of got the alarm look. He does have beard stubble, a wrinkle on his forehead. One of his eyebrows are raised. Cool looking face. Coming down to their chest and torso, you can see he's got some pockets on it. The tricolor camo underneath on, on the tan base. A lot of stitching around his uh, collar, undershirt, and down the center of his jacket. Again, the uh, tricolor camo looks really good. And then printing does come down to the waist, so his jacket is on the waist. Uh, he can come apart, does not hurt the printing at all. And some of the pockets are printed on the waist as well. Coming down to the legs and feet, you can see he's got pockets on the sides and stitching. He also has stitching down the center. Coming down further, you can see his pants are tucked into his boots. Front of the boots are printed on, and then the soles of the boots are printed on the bottom. Coming to the side, you can see printing on the side of his uh, arms. So he's got stitching down the, uh, down the side of his arm, and then he does have a cuff at the end. Tricolor camo is printed on the arms and the body, along with more stitching down uh, the side. He's got his waist, so his jacket shown on the waist. Coming down to his legs, he's got two pockets and his boots. Printing is the same on both sides. Then to the back of the minifig is the back of his outfit. You can see he's got his collar, a little wrinkle in the center. Tricolor camo shows up. You can see it a lot on the back. Coming down to his waist, you can see he's got the jacket. Then even further, he's got the boots. They do print in the holes as well, even the camo. So a cool desert storm looking minifig. Uh, one of the accessories I got with him is a printed Brick Arms vest by them. And this their vest is the printed uh, signal vest in tan of course. It's got two mags right here printed on black 
and then a radio right there. And then there's no printing on the back of it. Then to finish him off, we do have the uh, helmet, which is their tricolor uh, MCH helmet, which again is made by Brick Arms and printed on. And that tricolor camo is on there really well. So again, nice little Desert Storm or modern military uh, minifig. Put them on a stand. And now to the last minifig. This one I kind of wanted to create like a Vietnam style minifig. So this one has their um, tiger stripe boonie and torso, which is their version 2 body. And then the face I'm using is the stubble head, which again is in light flesh. And you can see he's kind of got, uh, you know, that look. He's like, I've seen some things kind of look. And then he's got that beard stubble coming all the way around. And kind of, you know, that <laughs> look, you know, his mouth is crunched up right there. Uh, detailing in the forehead and between the brow. And then again, he does have that tiger stripe boonie hat. So they did a great job with this one. And again, this is a Brick Arms accessory. Is not printed on the inside, though. Coming to his chest and torso, you can see he's got a dark undershirt. There is stitching near the collar. And then onto his jacket, which is that tiger stripe camo. There's a little pocket right there as well. Uh, I believe on both sides. And then over him is his tactical rig. You can see he's got a pouch right here and right here. It is combined at the center. And then the straps would go over to the back of his outfit. Coming down to his waist and legs, you can see the printing is on the waist. There is um, a belt design in there too. It's a little hard to see due to the darker printing for the camo. Coming down to the legs, you can see there is pockets and stitching down the center. And then his pants go tucked into his boots. See the laces on the front. And then there is mud on the front of the boots. So nice little touch right there. He's going through the mud. Coming to the side, again, that tiger stripe camo is all along the arm, down the side of his body. His tactical strap from his chest rig is going across his midsection on the side. The waist has got those belt buckles or belt loops right there. And then coming down further, he's got a pocket right there. Pants are tucked into his boots. And then again, again a bunch more mud on the bottom. And then to this side, the printing is the same on both sides. Again, camo all the way down. That strap going across, pocket, and mud on the boots. Then to the back, he's got his chest rig again. You can see the straps come over around his neck, down the back. He's got a big pocket right here and two canteens on the side. Tiger stripe camo all the way underneath. Coming down to the boots, he keeps going down. And then you can see again printing in the back of the holes. A lot of mud on the boots and even mud in the holes. So awesome little Vietnam minifig. Give him a pack of smokes. I can grab them. And there you go. That is their Tiger Stripe version 2 body, stubble head, and uh, Tiger Stripe boonie hat. Uh, again, if you want to check out all this stuff, links will be down below, of course. This is my Mad Dash loot. Again, sadly, I did not get any crazy minifigs. I wish I got some. And along with, I guess, um, I wish they had some more Star Wars themed minifigs, because again, it was on May the 4th. But that's okay, I know they have some Star Wars stuff coming out in the future. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like if you haven't already liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.